Chris Armas. We'll start off with the general thoughts and open up to questions. Chris? Well, we're, we're excited for Friday night. Friday night lights in our building, uh, in front of our fans who have been amazing for us all year. And we're expecting the same. Uh, we, we're hoping that it's cold, that the altitude is still there for us, that we we, we want a little, little revenge after, after the first one of the series. But we're at home where we've been pretty good. So we're really looking forward to the challenge against a, a good LA Galaxy team. But uh, we're sure welcoming the home cooking. Chris, I asked you after the game on Saturday if anything was off the table in terms of changes. Uh, anything dramatic to expect when the lineup comes out on Friday? Nothing, nothing too dramatic. Um, and of course, we're just not going to give away too much information sure. now, Mitch. So, but we we're excited about what we're going to do in, in terms of our game plan. Um, this isn't the time of year for pushing any magic buttons. We got to rely on what's gotten us to to this point. But again, when you're match planning, you always have to think about the opposition, the strengths, where you can hurt them, and. And we, we've done that, or at least that's our attempt. So we're we're the Rapids. We're not we're the same cast of characters. We're getting some healthy bodies back, and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to throwing it out there. Can you talk about getting those healthy bodies. I mean, you didn't have your, you know your two guys there for the first match. Yeah. Now you're gonna at least get one of them back. I mean, just so I at least getting Georgie back for this week. But it means it, you guys and how how much it changes for you guys. Listen, it, we we know in sport, you know, and and. As the head coach, I don't often in the media talk about who we're missing because it sounds like an excuse, to be honest with you. So it's always the next man up around here. But when you're missing your key guys, it, 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 some stress comes because we, that the, the oftentimes that's your focal point. It's your reference point. So to be honest, uh, you know, Georgie Mihaljevic, Cole Bassett, they've been our reference point in many ways. So it's good to have both of them back in some regard you know cold, cold it's, it's been a little bit slower but you know Georgie was out there today and, and you can see that he, even the quality and the energy that the, the group has when he's around so yeah we're in the most uh, in the biggest games of the year you want your your biggest players ready so it's uh it's good to have what's have the message to the team not to put too much pressure on themselves uh yeah I'm I'm, I'm as the head coach I'm, I'm constantly aware of that emotional energy and, and when they need me to you know tighten the grip a little bit but you know we, we talk a lot about pressure and what what is pressure you know and you see different tragedies in the world you see different things going on where fa what families face and the pressure it's, it's on ourselves just to be at our best and, and there's, a, there's a trophy out there and we're going for it that it's a football game it's another game um, so I, I, I'm constantly trying to take that off and aware of the energy in the group. So when we design practice sessions, when we talk about match plans, it's more to challenge the guys and bring excitement, more to add pressure. You know, because again, when, when you think about an athlete, the greatest reward is still to, to play well, for each guy to play well and be free. At the essence of sport, it's play. So of course we want to deliver victories for our fans and for the players, but yeah, so my message is, it's lots of little messages to, to breed confidence and to stick to the basics, things that got us here. Connor mentioned that there was a, a players meeting today to kind of everyone get on the same page. Sometimes that can be when things are going good, sometimes that can be when things are going bad. What's your thoughts on the players getting together to kind of have their own kind of talking and, you know, get everything up? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm not too many things sneak by me in this building, <laughs> but I didn't know they had a player meeting. Uh -oh. <laughs> so bad. that's, no, it's, I think it's a good thing. Listen, what, what you can see in our team, even last game, how difficult that is. It's 1-0 at halftime. We're in the game. And to go down right after halftime, it's 2-0, 3-0, and it just gets, it gets away from us. That the team doesn't give in. We don't quit. We push in to get, get a goal at any point. That the team is engaged. They're very confident, and they are together. And they, they have the real ingredients and the behaviors of a real team. For me, a, you know, a winning team, a one that, that should be competing for championships, as we've done all year. We've put ourselves in the mix of everything as we are now. So I think that's good. When the players – I always say, listen, I know my role as the head coach, to lead these guys and to take them where they can't get to on their own. However, 
I think the very best teams that I've been part of and that I've coached and it's from my experiences, when the players take it over from the inside, that it's not, they're not doing things because I'm saying do this, run here, that they're doing it because they believe it and that they take ownership. Because there's no timeouts in soccer, there's a halftime. That they're coaching themselves out there, that they're taking real ownership. So to hear that they had a player meeting, I think it's a really good thing. That's a, that's a step of, of taking ownership. We were planning for this whole series. Last week, you had to put in the press conference. You talk about this Friday night. You're always today. You were I, correct me wrong, but you were like looking ahead past like last week, and you knew that this game was going to be the one. Do you still believe like like regardless of what happens, last game or this game, like this is the game that you know you have to get? Yeah. Look, before the series starts, it's it's still a one game at a time thing. So, the idea was to go to L.A get the victory at, at, no, no matter what, and come home and seal out the series at home. So we, we, we were aggressive. Probably will we get punished a little bit because we were very aggressive to go there because losing in a shootout or if you lose 4-0 or 1-0, it, it wouldn't have mattered. So we went for it, and, and it didn't, didn't go our way. However, now this becomes the most important one. We, we get this game at home, we win the game, and we get into that one-off, that decisive game in LA where we've been pretty good this year when everything's on the line so I'm looking forward to this everything on the line game where we've been pretty you know we've shown up in these moments so it's one game at a time uh, we have to be very realistic it's a good team we're playing we'll have to be at our best but we want to get into that decisive game three first home playoff game for you coach you've talked about the fans all year and how much they've been behind you guys how excited are you to see them this Friday I'm really excited I, I love uh, the home games. I love the energy that, that our fans bring. They they feed off of our guys. Our guys play for them and feed off of them. So it's uh, for me, it's always about energy that, that's transmitted back and forth. And um, I think that's what it is. That's the brand of our team. We're an energetic football team. And, and a big part of it is, again, player to player, player to coach, coach to player, and the fans. that The, the fans feeding off of them. And we're gonna we're gonna rely on them once again. So now I'm really excited for, for my first playoff game here um, in Denver. Uh, hopefully, of many.